Welcome to another vlog. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry for my last appearance. Last vlog, I was looking rough and it was a rough week. <laughs> but your girl is back and she's better. And this is going to be a lit vlog because we're going to be lit at the lake. So it is Wednesday. We're going to do a whole boat day on Sunday. So I'm starting my prep. I'm going to get my Brazilian. Because um, I haven't been since probably... <laughs> Uh, my birthday. <laughs> you know, it might be TMI, but I'm just being honest. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna go run and do that so I can hop back on to work. Like when you onboarding for a new job, and this is it'll it'll be my first full month tomorrow, and it's just so many little things that you have to do. So while I have this lull and everything, and I can just go and come back, it'll take 30 minutes, so it'll be my lunch. I'm good. And then I will get back to work and then I will let y'all know how I go. I'm going to see if I'm going to take you all in there with me. I know me and the um, waxologist had talked about that before. But I'm about to be late so I'm about to go ahead there now. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's where I'm headed. So let's get to it. I will catch you all when I get there. And take y'all with me to get my um, Brazilian because I was in a hurry and I need to get back to the house and do work. But your girl feel like a million bucks and I love my wax lady. Like, I promise you, I just bought a package. So I'm going to go back and I definitely want to, like, take y'all with me on that experience and let her talk. Because I support black business. And I love the way she does my Brazilians. Uh, anywho, I am in the line at Starbucks. Because Naturally Sunny, I've been talking about this drink, okay? It's called the Grande Pink Drink with two scoops of matcha she said she tired of um saying the drink and whatnot so we gonna i'm gonna let y'all know how i i'm trying to get this camera i just ordered it i'm about to pick it up from the window i'm trying to adjust this camera to sit so i could get my money <laughs> Hi. Hi. okay Yes, please. Uh, she said grande and it's two scoops. This is what it looked like, y'all. I'm scared. Because <laughs> hers be looking a little less green, but it looked like they shook it up pretty well. I'm scared. What about this is nasty? This is different. I ain't mad at it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if this is something I get every time, but it really wasn't bad. It's an acquired taste. I definitely taste the strawberry. Not so much the coconut milk. The matcha. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to get back to y'all on how I feel about it. Y'all, I'm in my car answering emails. Because it's nice. And I just am trying to avoid going in the house. Because it's... <laughs> I don't know. But y'all, this drink, is it's like a peculiar taste. But clearly it's good. If you like the pink drink at Starbucks, I say try it. The matcha doesn't really make a difference. I think it just makes the the drink look cool, like it's green and strawberries. But, you know, it's not that bad. Reminder, because I know um, my sister, my line sister, has a like a deathly allergic allergy to coconut. So if you are allergic to coconut or anything like that don't get this because it has coconut milk with it be sure to sub it just don't go up saying pink drink because you know sometimes we do stuff and we don't necessarily know what's in it but i'm just trying to warn you ahead of time as y'all can see this is my little work from home setup don't touch me that's my call about to start um real quick i just wanted to show y'all my let me mute this real quick <sighs> okay so i got a minute for that to start but i just wanted to show y'all my wax 
own kit. It's by Bella Verde. And it's a 5-in-1 waxing kit. Fast heating. Has long extension cord. This is the one that Naturally Sunny has showed on hers. And since she's a licensed esthetician, it's the one she used. Of course, I want some professional grade. So in the kit, it comes with wax beads. It comes with three wax beads. Comes with the pre-waxing spray. Has this to go with it. The extension cord. Comes with gloves. Love it. Love it. Love this. Another one of the heads because we have the after wax spray. And then it has the kit, the, the warmer itself. Which looks like this. So cute, right? Right. Directions and the waxing strips. Well, not the waxing strips, but the applicators. So that's cool too. So I think today I'm gonna wax my face and then I'll do my underarms and legs probably after work. So I'm gonna play with it because I'm about to probably take my shower while I have a little lull in my day for my lunch break and then I'll get back to work. So yes, I wanted to show y'all that before I actually do it so y'all can kind of see. Um, I may not show y'all wax in my face per se cause I wanna test it out, but I'll show you all what it looks like when I'm waxing my legs and my underarms and like my arms because I got little hairs. You can't really see, but yeah, you do see. So I'm gonna wax my arms too. All right, so sounds good, and I will catch you all in the next. Welcome to another day of the vlog, y'all. I have not picked up my camera in days because work was tapping that ass okay so yeah this vlog is supposed to be all about preparing for the girls boat day so y'all just gonna get a lot of content in one day y'all i gotta take these braids out do my hair i need to wax my whole body i need to find a swimsuit top so i can get my look together but then like now i'm like maybe i could do another look but i like to have options so i just need a new bikini top and um uh, maybe run a couple other er <laughs> errands so whew, your girl got work to do so i'm just trying to enjoy it and take it in stride i went shopping yesterday for snacks after work because i didn't get off work till 9 45 at night um y'all know i work on west coast time so that was like 6 45 and um yeah so i'm going to be um so yeah, I'm going to be going to the mall. I'm going to take y'all with me. I have not been giving y'all the angles that y'all deserve. Like, it's been all face. And I know y'all want to kind of see. I like showing the camera from, like, my eyes. <laughs> that way, it just, it just gives more vari variation. So I thank y'all for rocking with me and those that still tuning in. Because, you know, it's just getting better and better and better. And all that good stuff. So, let's get to it. I'm probably going to go take my car for a car wash, too. Because she kind of dusty. And you can probably see that the windows are full of pollen so i'll probably do that so just like an errand day is saturday i hate doing stuff on saturday i'm now like everybody else but i'm just gonna try to have patience and have fun with it i made my iced coffee y'all it's completely dairy free i had to show y'all the instant um coffee grounds for iced coffee that i have Ugh, so good got it from tj's Trader Joe's and I tried almond whipped cream for the first time so yeah I don't know how I feel about the almond whipped cream but you know just for it to be easy on your stomach I think it's fine all right so we headed out yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm outside in an AMG right outside ET two, 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 baby girl you know me still with the dogs that I grew beside Round me, right at it, right? Gotta watch the time, cause it's fine, right, bro? Two turn, baby. 
So while I have some time, I wanted to show y'all what I got. So when I sh when I showed y'all the footage, it looked like I didn't find anything. And y'all know it's, it's uh, music playing in Forever 21, so your girl couldn't get copyrighted. So they had this, and it looks like swim, but I don't know if it's gonna go with my cover up because this is high neck. So it was nine dollars. I think it's swim, but it came up as something else, which I ain't mad at. You know, like that. And I ain't getting in the water. It's just kind of like for a look. I don't know if y'all remember when like play suits were in like a few years ago where they weren't really swimwear, but they were like just two piece sets you can wear like around the pool or like things like the lake. So I got that. I got some little white biker shorts because they was faux nan and nan. So I got some of those. I got some biker shorts. I don't know how see through these are, but I love biker shorts. And y'all know like I'm in this. I'm glad leisure is still in because I'm gonna make it look good. <laughs> Period. And then I got these like nude ones, which I thought were really cute. And they, but these not really biker shorts. These are a little bit pom pom shorts. They said legging shorts, where these are legging bike shorts. So we'll see. I think the nude will look good. I got some um, I got some new skims coming in. So I was like trying to just mix and match chill looks. I got glowing out clothes, but I just ain't been nowhere. So I like when, like, let's say we're going to the bar, we going to dinner, we going to sit out on the patio or whatever when it's summer. I want cute outfits like that, so I'm not, like, being super, like, with my silks and all that other stuff. I want to get some, like, two pairs of denim shorts, and then I got, I think I have plenty of stuff to, like, swap out, switch out, remix this summer. And, you know, I'll, I'll add pieces here and there, but right now I'm kind of on a skims kick. So I just ordered a t-shirt, a bodysuit, leggings to match the t-shirt because that's really going to be like lounge. And then I got another bodysuit coming from Nordstrom because this color that I really wanted was sold out on the skim site. And they had it on Nordstrom's. So, or Nordstrom, no S. I used to work there. <laughs> um, so right now I'm waiting on a phone call. Dang, I got 30 minutes. I can go to Target um, with my realtor. Well, I want her to be my realtor, so we're going to see what she's talking about uh, in a few minutes. But other than that, let's go to Target. I'll probably just go to that Target and sit in the parking lot and then just have my conversation. And then when I'm done talking to her, go into Target and get some other things. And then I'll be headed back to the house. I can take these out and wash my hair and do some other stuff. But, of course, I ain't y'all go kill me. <laughs> so... I'll catch y'all in talking talk. about me. I'm gonna buy some stationery. Y'all got some shoes, hand center for the truck. I'm back home. Yes, I am back home. <sighs> look at the bags. I don't look like a lot, but it was a little, a little coin today. <laughs> I'm probably gonna take stuff back, but I bought like four pairs of shoes from Target. Just, you know, when you go into Target, you just gotta let spirit talk to you. But sometimes spirit say too much. <laughs> so I'll look through and see what I like. But it, you know, it's hard to find my size. So I just got shoes in my size that I like that felt comfortable. And then if I don't like them or anything, I will take them back. Uh, so let's just get into what I bought. I'm about to take these braids out once I show y'all what I'm gonna do. And then while my hair is conditioning y'all, we're going to get into this waxing. <laughs> so, all right, first things first. Y'all know the main reason I went out today, cause what time is it? I left the house at like 10.30 and I got back maybe at like three-ish. So, I showed y'all. Well, we're gonna just have a recap again. So I got this. But when I got this, I'm thinking it may not go with my cover up, but we going to see. I'm going to try it all on in a minute. I'm not going to try it on, but I'm going to try this on, but I'm going to show y'all the looks. But then while I was out, my gears start turning because I bought this brown mesh dress. I wanted to wear it on vacation or whatever, but it came with like two pieces. And I was thinking if I remix it and like hike it up, maybe tie the dress on the side, I'm wondering, is it going to be too hot? Because it is a high neck, but still, it's like mesh. It's like, it's mesh. 
Um, and then I have a brown bathing suit that will like go bomb with it. But I think I really might have to try on the looks. But I'm going to show y'all that too. But yeah, like I said, I got this. I got some biker shorts. Well, these are like legging shorts. They're not biker. Then I got the white biker shorts. And so I wanted to find... What is that? So I wanted to find some black sandals because the outfit I'm going to wear tomorrow is black. And I wanted these. I call them the Janae Aiko sandals. Because... Um, what is it, Teva? I think that's how you pronounce it. Teva, Teva. They sell these sandals and now all the designer brands have them and stuff like that. But years ago, people thought these shoes were ugly. But these were really cute on my feet and I need like new sandals. I threw all my sandals away when I moved because they was just beat up. And I'm tired of having beat up stuff. <laughs> like I I deserve to have good condition stuff in good condition. Um so then I got these because these are cute. Like you can dress up. I can wear with jeans and stuff like that. So I got these. And like this is closer. I love this material. Target is actually making their shoes even better quality. So those two pal. And then I didn't even really go looking for these. But they had these in all black. Because like I said I was looking for a black sandal. But you see everything I'm showing you is neutral. But these are really cute. They were snake print. And I'm like. I need them right off the house shoes and these are them they'll probably go like cute with other stuff because I'm looking at what I can wear it with like right now on my rack and they're cute cash so I like these these are super comfortable these I need to try both of them on because it's like a little narrow um I just need to try and see will I be able to walk in these for a certain amount of distance if not I'm gonna take them back and I found the black sandals these aren't the ones I wanted. The ones I wanted were like sand and shore, which were like a little bit cheaper. These were 30 bucks, but they were so comfortable when I put my foot in. Like these look very good quality. Like these are cute too. These are hella cute. So these are cute too. These actually look better than these. They were the same price, but this is like a little vegan leather and everything. So cute. So, so cute. And they're comfortable. So, I got four pair of shoes. Um, I don't like boxes. But I keep them. Then, y'all, my mom wanted some black girl sunscreen. So, I bought her some. I'm like, girl, this sunscreen, $15.99. I don't know if I'm going to hold off and just give her, like, a little gift basket or something um, for Mother's Day. I think that's what I might do. I was just going to give it to her. But I think I really, like, did my own horn i really went all out for her birthday and mother's day is next weekend um probably this blog no this will come out sooner um mother's day is next weekend so i'll start build accumulating stuff i think i'm gonna just do like a little basket something cute like a mother's day basket i'm gonna get her ipad stand because she's been wanting one so i'll go on and order that um and maybe some other little goodies and things like that Keep it light, keep it cute. I need to hold on to these receipts because I may be taking stuff back. And then y'all saw the journals in my car. I was gonna put them back, but girl, I got them all. I got them all. And then I'm gonna look through them. And if I don't want them, they were ten dollars a piece, and then this was twelve. But I really like this one. It's just like I'm every woman. It's all in me. That's what it's giving, and I love that it's just different types. Even though nobody's face is painted brown, I know these are different types of black women and women of color. But this is just like my um, terracotta one with the vegan leather where it has like the date. Oh, it's not there. Where it has like you can circle the date and stuff like that. And I like that. This is just, I don't know. This like, this one's going to be special to me. I already had an idea what I wanted to do with it when I saw it. I was like, yeah, she's that girl that one and I could not choose between the gratitude and the intentional one because both of them were just so good so I was like let me buy both and I'm gonna really thoroughly look through them <laughs> this one I already know I think maybe that's why I was gonna like I'll get this one this one I know gonna have me in my feels because this it was some real real thought-provoking questions but I've been feeling really overwhelmed lately with work and everything else going on in my personal affairs and things like that and I'm like, I really need to journal. I really need to make time to meditate. I really need to take time to get some mental clarity. So hopefully this will happen. And I have to make it mandatory 
because I'm into astrology and it just says like your spirit guides are trying to talk to you, your angels, they're trying to talk to you, but you being stressed and like pressed and stuff like that is like creating major blockage. So hopefully this will help get rid of some of that blockage because I want to be able to hear God clearly, but I also want to be able to receive openly and freely everything that is meant for me without fear because I feel change coming, but sometimes, you know, like some of like many of us, we have um, self-sabotaging syndrome. And I don't know why and I don't know how I picked it up or where it started. But I just want a show that to go on its way. Um, for the bow, I got the disinfecting wipe slash hand sanitizer wipes. Yeah, you can wipe your hands and stuff with it too. Look, it has it on boat luggage. <laughs> yep. So I will take this with me. Um, flushable wipes. Y'all went and got a Brazilian and it's like, you just got to be extra, extra care. Extra care. I got some hand sanitizer for the boat. When I go on group shits and stuff like this, especially we still in a panoramic. I just want to be extra cautious. I'm vaccinated. My family is vaccinated. Like my immediate bubble is vaccinated, but I can't account for everybody else. And there, so I can only protect myself and bring things that I know that would make me feel more comfortable in a day with people that I don't live with. Um, but I got this. I've been wanting to try this. I don't know if you all know about Naturally Nella or follow her on Instagram or on YouTube. But that is... Is that my phone? That is my profile. But she has a brand sponsorship with Dove. And she has showed this. And she liked it. And I've also seen other people show this and like it. I wanted the little carry-on one that was in lavender. I love lavender. That's like my favorite essential oil scent. But this is even better. I'm gonna keep this one in the car because when I'm on the go, you know, this stuff will dry your hands out. It will dry you out so bad. And I have eczema. You can see it. I have eczema on my hands. So right now I'm like in in the in reverting it back because I had a really bad like I don't know what we got eczema flare up i was like not a breakout but a flare up so like i'm trying to get it back but sometimes uh hand sanitizer irritates that or sometimes i just go like it's just really itchy so i feel like if this hand sanitizer can make my hands still feel moisturized and not sticky but still feel clean i feel like she might be the girl for me but yes and then this i don't know if i showed y'all this but this is my boat bag that i bought this is like something easy for me to have like when I do boat days or if I want to go on a picnic or something I got this from Amazon last week and it has a little tassel keychain so that's gonna be real cute I'm gonna wear that and yeah so that's all I got today for my little Target haul and I'm about to like I said take my hair out wash it and then I will catch you all when it's time to wax <laughs> I'm scared but I'm sharing this moment with you okay y'all will get a little bit of a moment once i perfect it i might actually do a video but y'all just gonna kind of see me test out the waters right now so i i'm being the guinea pig so that when you try it you already know the do's and don'ts and i've watched videos and stuff like that but i want to give you the perspective from somebody that's watched videos <laughs> trying it for the first time and then understanding and then getting better so we're gonna see i'm sure it's gonna take a long time because i want to do my underarms I want to do my forearm and I want to do, um, do you call it four legs? Anyways, knees down on my legs. Yeah, that's it. And, oh, and my face. I'm going to wax my face too. So I got to do that today because you're not really supposed to wax and then go straight into the sun. I know we're going to be in the sun tomorrow. So I, I don't want to try to do that to, in the morning or anything like that. So I want to go on and handle that today so that I can just be good for tomorrow. All right. So yeah, <laughs> I will catch y'all later. I look a little, it's giving a little Aunt Jemima, but it's cool. So I got my scarf on and the wax is cooling. We need two more degrees. So I'm nervous. Let's get these things. I don't know how much wax I got, but we about to be where it needs to be. It needs to be on 94. It's on 96. It's cooling down. So I'm going to take the pre-wax and I'm going to look at it. I'm going to spray it on like a piece of cotton and wipe. 
because I'm about to I'll probably do test on my arm let's test on my arm before I test on my face so let's first. Not much, but you know, whatever they say, oils or whatever. I'm gonna let that go. And it says the wax. I want the wax to be cool. So at 194 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have my stick. consistency they said they wanted I wish I could show y'all they said it needs to be like honey so I'm going to do that works because I think I let it cool too much but I didn't want to burn myself so don't let it dry completely so it's still a little sticky I think I was scared, y'all. I think it needs to be a little bit hotter. <laughs> Let's try one more time. I'm gonna go, this is the direction of the hair. So, that's that. I can feel it drying now. And I need to pull away. I don't think I pulled away. I don't know how much, how much I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, y'all. So y'all saw me test it. I'm going, and I feel the difference, but I don't know how long it's going to take me. But we, I, I'll be back with some results when I get somewhere. Lit at the late vlog, y'all. I am running late in true Megan form, but we are going to have a good day. I'm trying to make sure I don't sweat out all my deodorant because your girl was rushing through. So we're headed to the lake. About to pick me up some breakfast cooler set got ice got the snacks we good for a day so uh to be continued because i can't waste no more time we have to be there oh my gosh and i'm 30 minutes away
TV. I could not do nothing but come home and go to sleep. I don't even know what the footage is looking like. I'm going to try to put it together the best I can. I hope that y'all enjoyed, enjoyed the glimpse that y'all had. But when I tell y'all, I was so lit at the lake. Like, <laughs> your girl was done, done. Okay? Finito. Finished. I um did not realize how much I had drank until I got home and it was time to get ready for bed. And I was just feeling so sluggish. Like, I felt like I was good. I was good. And when I got home, I took a bath. I did... <laughs> I did the bare minimum to get ready for bed, watch Pose, and I was out, okay? I woke up at 6.30 this morning. That's how I knew my body was dehydrated. Because whenever I drink and, like, drink, drink, I cannot sleep in. I can't. So I woke up 6.30. I made sure to drink some water and everything. Because after I thought about it, I only drank one bottle of water yesterday. I drank one bottle of water <laughs> And I was just sipping on rosé all day. We were taking shots. It was just a very interesting <laughs> day on the water. And if you think about it, like, we was really floating on the water just... <laughs> just all day drinking in the sun. Like, that's low-key probably a dangerous combination. But we had food and snacks. It was good. We played some games. And... I'm trying to get better with, like, but you know, like, that's the thing without, about vlogging and YouTube is, like, you really want to stay in the moment, so, like, I didn't want to just have my camera out, you don't know if people are comfortable on camera, we were, like, you know, some of my line sisters, but also some of my line sisters' friends, so it was just cool, it was just a cool little vibe, um, good girl time, um, yeah, so I was, like, you know, I little pop out of the streets or whatever, <laughs> Let's try to see see what see what the streets looking like. Um, a little preview, a little glimpse, you know. So that was all good, and yeah. Um, I just wanted to close it out. Like, yo, I had to get my life together because then I had to work. Got off work at seven. Well, clocked out at seven. So I want to just go and get some stuff done because tomorrow. Yesterday was shot. You know, Sunday I like to usually chill. My weekend went by so fast, but yeah also you guys i scheduled an appointment for an intuitive reader so that'll be interesting i have that appointment on friday so we're just gonna see how that goes um i don't know if you, i'm gonna have you all of course be there because she gonna say probably some super personal stuff but this is somebody that my friend has gone to so i'm interested to kind of see what that experience is like and um of my video game like i feel like i've been giving y'all a lot of face the face card and i just want to mm -mm, what's that? Yeah. anywho let me go on and drive to target i'm trying to see what time it is before they close and I holla. So thanks y'all for tuning in to another vlog. I appreciate you all so much. Let's keep it rolling. Like I think I'm almost at 200 subscribers since starting when I only had like 17 and I started in, I'll say like I really started getting consistent in January. So, you know, 200 of y'all that are rocking with me, I appreciate you all so much. And I'm still trying to diversify my content. I have a couple things I want to try because I'm still new um, to YouTube. So it's like different things I want to do. And um, I hope you all like it. So that's coming soon. I'm just going to try to keep it consistent. And also, you guys, I had one of my favorite brands reach out to me. And we're going to try to um, solidify that deal because I want to get into my sponsored content. But they are going to send me um, a box of goodies. They love my content that they did see. And we're going to keep that. They didn't ask for any promotion or anything. No, for in response, they just wanted to send me a gift. So we're going to check that out. And I'll do an unboxing with you all so you all get to know which brand <laughs> sent me something. <laughs> I'm hyped. But until next time. Smooches, and I will holler at y'all later. Yeah.